I have calendars that I can set up here. I can add, using the standard interface, I can add another calendar. And whatever calendar is selected, the events that I create will be added to that calendar. So for example, I could add an event here, and it's on the demo calendar. I can double click and change calendars change dates, times, and the time zone for the event. This is where the interplay between the time zone support for iCal and the event happens because I'm associating a time zone with each event. I can add something, an attachment, and I can add attendees. And here's where the other side of what I just showed you with email happens. I can add as an attendee, I can type in someone who's in my address book and I just started typing and got that address. I can also open the address panel, not the address book. This is a display inside iCal. Notice we're still in iCal, but it's a display of data from my address book. And I can drag, oops, I have to have this open yet. I can now drag something from my address book into here, which means I can search. In the case of someone with multiple email addresses, I can click over here to choose who I'm inviting and which email address. So if I come back and add attendees over here and add this one, then I can add as many attendees as I want and click send and email will go out to someone and if they are using an email program that supports integration with their calendaring program, such as Mail and iCal do on the Mac, then the whole process that you've just seen will repeat itself. So I could send this, and it goes out, and it'll be sent. I can add to-do items to my calendar, and I've done the, so already, because if you noticed here, I have notes and to-do items here, and because they're here in mail when I created to-dos from them, I wound up here with check out the details, which was created automatically here when I selected a message and turned it into a to-do in mail. So that's the integration between mail and iCal, but you saw a little bit of integration with address books, so let's take a look at that.